Hello guys and welcome to a new video. I think this is the video you all wanted to see. This is uh, the Renault Zoe, the white Renault Zoe that uh, you know from the very first video on this channel. Uh, the Renault Zoe that uh, failed, that had a broken DC-DC converter that was written off by Renault then. Um, and that was uh, disassembled and let's say replaced in a very very difficult operation. A big shout out here to Peter Melville and Kent in the UK. Uh, that helped me a lot in finding a solution for this car and the car that is now back on the road uh, driving perfectly starting up without a single error message um, driving let's say as when it was new and uh, i just wanted to show you that the project now really is finished you might see this car again in a future video but this is the final video of the repair uh, series i would say and I just want to take you on a, on a very quick drive to show you that everything is fine now and we were very successful with this project. Uh, I would say, take that uh, Renault, we brought the car back on the road uh, without the help of, uh, let's say, the official <laughs> Renault network, which is kind of a, an achievement, I would say, uh, as I'm not an engineer by trade. So, um, I, we jump in the car now, we have a little drive and I'll show you how the car uh, behaves and drives. So stay tuned, please. This is uh, Switzerland, isn't it? Beautiful landscape here. So before we jump in the car, I wanted to show you something very special here. You might have noticed this uh, sticker here on the uh, bonnet of the car, which says uh, Wave uh, Tool Manager. And this is something that means a lot to me. Um, the car, the first day when the car was reassembled, had the honor to participate uh, as official vehicle of the tour manager in the WAVE 2020. The WAVE is the biggest electric car rally in the world. So uh, this adds a bit of the special pedigree of this uh, special car because it had the honor of transporting the tour manager on one, uh, let's say on one day uh, of, the, of the WAVE. Um, Probably this is something a bit like uh, when a classic car participates in the uh, Carrera Panamericana or something like that. So the, the car gets more and more special every day. So um, I'm really curious if we can, uh, let's say, um, have other adventures uh, as well with this uh, Renault Zoe here. So if you get into the car now, I will show you the startup sequence of the car, which is very clean. I press start button here. And here you can see everything goes off is normal. Zero seat belts in the back, which is fine. And nothing else. So gear now. And the car drives perfectly. So, as you can see, this is a kind of a narrow road we're on here. But, of course, with the beautiful scenery, this is it. Huh? Okay, guys, I just want to do a very quick wrap up what happened with this car in the past. On the, the 31st of December uh, 2019, the car broke down. It had to be brought to a Renault garage. They made their tests and they found out that at least the DC DC converter was broken. And they said we have to replace the whole uh, electronics unit and uh, maybe in parts of the of the motor. So the quote was eight uh, about 8,000 euro for the whole thing, which of course was more than the residual value of the, of the of the vehicle at the time. So in fact, it was a complete write off. I thought, uh, well, that's um, that's very unsatisfying, <laughs> of course, from one side, from a financial point of view. But my main point was uh, the sustainability point of view. Uh, the car was less than five years old at the time, it was four years to be precise. And I don't think it's uh, okay to write off and scrap a car that is only four years old especially if you drive an electric car that you mostly drive for uh, environmental reasons. So I decided I want to look into that and I want to find a solution how to uh, repair the car instead of scrapping it. Um, 
And then we found out that uh, the main problem was that uh, if you want to get replacement parts, it's not possible to uh, just put them straight into the car because uh, the win number of the of the of the part, well, the, the win part has to be coded with the vehicle identification number of the car in order to communicate over the CAN network with the other components and most of those parts uh, are hard-coded so you can't recode them so what we had to do is we had to find the replacement part which we found in Norway and then we had to physically transfer the uh, the chip from my old car into the replacement part uh, big shout out again here to Peter and um, then I had to let's say remount the whole thing into my car and I'm not a mechanic and uh, not an engineer so it was the first time but uh, it, it worked out really well as you can see the car drives uh, perfectly and I'm so happy that we were able to bring it back on the road um, <laughs> Not, not because it's a particularly uh, whatever nice car, whatever. Just to show people that uh, we have to find solutions uh, out in the automotive world that these cars get more sustainable. Not only, um, let's say, uh, from a, a fossil fuel point of view, but also from a, from a life cycle point of view, from a circular economy point of view, uh, and so on. So that's why I'm so excited that the car is back and I hope that I will find solutions how uh, we can use this car to make this uh, problem visible. Uh, one thing I showed you before is the particip participation in that uh, wave rally for, for one stage uh, with the tour manager and uh, well stay tuned we will find, uh, we will find uh, nice things to make uh, to, uh, let's say get visibility for, for, for this problem and I'm at the moment I'm just happy that the car is back it's driving perfectly it's uh, well it's really like like a new car and I hope I can have some more fun with it so that was it for today thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments uh, if you uh, let's say if you share my thoughts uh, and, and if you think that these cars should be more let's say from a conceptual point of view more uh, even more environmental friendly so have a good time and see you again soon uh, bye 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 bye